Like, look, this is this is a way that we can all like. This is a scientifically proven way that we can boost our immune system, mm -hmm. and it might save your life, and it might save the life of your loved ones. And maybe we could teach this to our grandparents and our parents and and, and people that are vulnerable. You know, vitamin C, heat shock proteins, all these different variables that we know contribute to a stronger immune system. And so, actually, being being overweight is is, is a big deal. Yeah. The New York hospital said it was the number one factor for severe uh, co yeah. COVID symptoms was obesity. That was Actually, you know, like um, this, this may be a useful bit of advice for, for people, but uh, eating before you go to bed is a real bad idea and actually negatively affects your sleep. Yeah, and I think yeah. um, regulated feeding window is really the way to go. 16 hours. Well, I like okay, 16 okay. hours, yeah. And so anything in between that is just water or coffee. And it can actually cause uh, it, it, uh, heartburn that you don't even know is happening. And, and that subtle heartburn uh, affects your sleep because you're, just, you're horizontal and your yeah. body's digesting. Uh, it's like one of the worst things you could do. Put in the same category as delicious food. It kind of makes things a little more fun. It's like just avoid having alcohol and, and avoid eating at least two or three hours before going to sleep. And your quality of life, will, your quality of sleep will improve and your general health will improve a lot.